All right, this is what I'm building today. It's a plant stand. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but when it becomes cold weather outside, my wife likes to move a bunch of plants on, into the house. And rather than set them on the floor where the dogs will eat them up, or, or where the dog, I only have one dog. Uh, this gets them elevated up. It also keeps them from staining the floor and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, this is not meant to be a fine piece of furniture. Uh, you know, you, this is something you could build out of pallet wood or something like that. This is just, uh, I mean, you know, it's going to probably get stored in the garage in the summertime and beat up and that kind of thing. So uh, it's just a quick project. Um, I think it looks nice enough to be in the house. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not. Probably not. But anyway, it's made out of uh, one by threes. Uh, you could use one by fours. I mean, these are actually three quarter inch by, by three inches. Um, you could use one by fours. You know, those of you that watch my channel know I have a sawmill. So, um, I kind of use dimensions that work for the wood that I have, so that's what I what I used. It's 32 inches tall, 32 inches wide. That fits. Going to sit in front of. I've got made two of them. It's going to sit in front of a couple of windows, so that size works for me. Um, so I do give dimensions as I go along, um, but you know this is really meant to be more of. Hey, here's an idea of something that you could make. I'm cutting the end pieces for the upper tray and. They're going to be exactly 12 inches long. Right now I'm cutting the long pieces for the uh, upper tray and they are, they are exactly 32 inches long. So this is our 32 inch pieces and our 12 inch piece and I'm just going to get these nailed together. I'm using an air nailer. You could use some number four finish nails or something like that to put this together with. Now these are the feet, and I just want to round the corner over, and I'm just using a piece of PVC pipe. You can use anything that gives the kind of contour you're looking for, and I'm going to make one, and then I'll copy it to the other one. Now this is an unnecessary step, and if you don't have any way to round those corners, you could also just chamfer them off, just cut them off or something like that. Delete. They, you know, they're going to sit there like that, and this is kind of a a place you could jag a pant leg or something like that. So I would round these off or chamfer them off or something. All right, now I'm making the feet that are going to go on the bottom of the other feet, the legs. Well, the, well, yeah, making the little feet. Maybe these are the toes that are going on the bottom of the feet. But anyway, I just sort of lined it up and said, okay, well, I want it to be about that long. And so that is two and a half inches. So I'm going to need four of these. Okay, so these are two and a half inches long. And I'm going to set it back an inch and three quarters. And then I've cut a couple of uh, pieces of glue on that are a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to use those as spacers, put a little glue on here. Set the end on the mark that I made. And then I'm just going to use these two pieces to line up the sides of it. And 
and there's our foot. Okay, so to get where to put this board in the middle, just line it up on one end of this big, big piece and measure it. And for me, it's 10 inches. Now, if you're using 1x4s to do this, your measurements are going to be different. So just measure it, and then you're going to cut that number in half, which makes it 5. Give you Just make you a couple of little marks right on the edge. 5. Put some glue on here. Put it right on the end of the board and those little marks line up right on the edge. I did two of them just to make sure that I had it in the right place. Put one little nail in there just to kind of hold it in place. Be sure you get this absolutely square in there will make it so it won't move. It'll make for a strong joint. Now I've got my frame. This is the bottom edge and then I've got one of my legs. And you want to put the leg with the foot on the bottom side so that it's laying flat with this. Now we've got to get our spacing here so we're just going to shove this over to one side like that. Give a measure. It's seven and a half so that's going to be uh, three and three quarters going to be our distance, so three and three quarters, right there, so if we put that right there, and then we measure over here just to make sure, it should be three and three quarters, and it is. Okay, so after you get your mark there, come back, put you a line, that'll help you get this straight. Line the top edge up with the top. Line it up with that edge right there. And put your nail right in the middle. Just like that. Now this isn't going to hold it very well, but we, want, we don't want to fix that yet. Because there's nothing worse than building something like this and you put it on the floor and it rocks. So we're just going to have that stay like that. Very gently move it around. And I'm going to do the same thing on this end right here. Okay, so I have very carefully moved this into position here. I've got it on a place that I know on my floor to be flat. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up one of these edges. And I'm going to go ahead and nail this down. And now this, this edge is straight, and this edge, I don't really care. I mean, it should be exactly on this same line because this floor is flat. But since it's level, I'm going to go ahead and fix it in position. this, it may very well be that the floor that I try to put this on isn't exactly level and it may rock a little bit, but my chances are pretty good that this is going to be uh, just right. Alright, so now we're going to put a cross member in here and you just want to come up go all the way up to the top and measure the distance between this face and this face and that will tell you what this board should measure. And then I'm just placing it 10 inches from the bottom. And then Place your board on the edge like that. Measure the distance here. Divide that by one half and then measure in. And that'll tell you what, how far it should be spaced in that direction. In my case, it's two and a quarter, so I'm going to move in an inch and an eighth. 
be helpful to have a clamp down here to help hold this in while you put it together. And now I'm just taking a square and putting it close to it so I can look down that line and make sure that I've got this board in there straight and it doesn't, it appears that I do. All right, now I want to use, I'm gonna put a couple of screws in here to uh, try to nail this in. The glue is really not gonna to stick to the end grain of, the, of this. That, that glue isn't gonna fix that joint very well. So I wanna put a couple of screws in each end just to pull this in and keep it tight. So it's helpful to come out here and measure halfway. Make yourself a little mark. and get you a screw. Now, these screws are, it's these um, Spax screws. I'll try to remember to put a link, link to these for you. Uh, they're actually made for hardwood and MDF, but what I like about them is they drill a hole as they go in and it's really hard to split stuff with them. So I don't have to drive, drill a pilot or anything like that. If you're using a different screw, you're probably wise to drill a pilot hole and maybe a countersink in there to sink the head. These, as you'll see, will go just will go right in. So I'm going to put this right on my mark, the halfway mark, and then look from the front and make sure that I'm down inside the board. And that's got our brace in place. Now I've cut uh, sticks 12 inches long to fit in here. And these are inch and a quarter. You could use just regular uh, inch and a half, like one by twos that you would get at Home Depot or wherever. And I'm gonna get those put in place. Well, here it is all finished. Uh, I did, as you can see, decide to put a coat of amber shellac on it. I'm real happy with the way this turned out, and I think it's going to work well for what I need. Well, I hope this video was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.